of the Paul Canabine Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team, hosts of the 2017 Mustang Classic. Went off really well. A lot of great lacrosse. Talk about how the those games went for your team. You know, I thought it went, you know, it was just great having the Classic here. I mean, a lot of people came, a lot of excitement. Appreciate everything inside lacrosse did to cover the games and everything and all the production people here, yourself, obviously, and Greg Royce, our field guys, and, of course, Brett Adams, our AD, lets us to do all this stuff. So, I mean, it was a great weekend for Division Three lacrosse in general, and uh, we're really happy how it turned out, and we're really looking forward to, to 18. How it went for us, you know, I think we played seven great quarters of lacrosse and one we'd like to have back, you know, so I thought that fourth quarter against York we just didn't make the plays we needed to and they did and give them a lot of credit for making those plays they turned the game around and played at their speed and you know we had trouble adjusting at the other end but we'll be all right and come back and you know but that's that's the part about this t- tournament you know you get to play great games week in and week out I mean day in and day out for it and uh you know it was, it was a lot of fun and you know we're better for it and we'll look forward to taking on Tufts on Tuesday yeah you, you mentioned you guys seem to play well at stretches What do you need to do to put together the whole 60? Well, I think the biggest thing for that is the first time in the fourth quarter we didn't play uh, better than we did in the first quarter. And so, you know, for us, we just got to keep grinding away here and understand the situation's a little bit better, be mentally tougher in some spots. I thought that we didn't mentally think the game as well as we could have and made some really poor choices in the fourth quarter there against York that cost us a little bit. But we'll get there. It's what we've been working on all year, and it's only one quarter because we've really been good for most of the games from first quarter to fourth quarter. But uh, we'll just move forward and uh, apply what we learned against uh, York to Tufts. And talk a little bit about, you know, obviously you guys had to play back-to-back nights yep. in the Mustang Classic. How tough is it to do that? What do you need to do to be able to play these types of quality opponents back-to-back right. nights? Well, you got to play more people, and you got to be in tremendous shape, play more people. And I think we did that a little bit. we got some guys in there. You know, Bryce Sproul gave us a great goal against, York, a goal against York. He hasn't played a whole lot this year at times. And, you know, we had Harrison Facher in there. And we got some guys in there that haven't played as much. And uh, they did a good job. But, you know, it's always a tough to play back-to-back no matter what the case is. You know, we had some guys sick, some guys that – you know, we had a couple aches and bends there, but no excuses. Everybody goes through the same thing, mm-hmm. and uh, some teams do great with it year from one year. The next year, not so much. And but you know, it's a it's a great event, and um, you know, we just got to get a little bit better and understand that grind. We got back to back games later in the year as well, so we'll get used to it again. And it, as we set our eyes on what's happening this week, you guys are going to play host to Tufts. Obviously, they have a new, a new coach. What do you know about them that's going to be able you know, well, to show out? Well, they lost a lot. You know, they lost their you know, majority of their best players. They lost their goalie, face-off guy, a couple of D guys. But, you know, they've recruited really well, and they're trying to play the same style, getting up and down, taking lots of shots. And so their second guys are really good as well that are stepping in now and are starters. And, you know, they're going to play that same brand of the cross or 10-man in a little bit more this year. they got a good face-off guy that we know about has been doing a good job. Uh, you know, and they got some guys that are shooting the ball well. So we got to be able to, you know, be able to not turn the ball over over in the midfield uh, and give them easy opportunities. We got to do a good job shooting the ball at the other end against their two goalies, and you know we got to make them pay for their mistakes. And we can't, you know, we can't uh, make too many mistakes in the middle of the field to give them offense. Well, coach, we appreciate your time and good luck on Tuesday against uh, Tufts this week. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.